In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download ChatGPT for your Mac. The first thing you need to do is to open your web browser and you want to go to openai.com forward slash chatgpt forward slash download and I'll leave a link to this website in the description. Once you're here, you want to scroll down and you can either download this for your mobile from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store, but what we are interested in today is for desktop, more specifically for Mac. So you want to click on download for Mac OS and then you want to choose where you want to download the installer and in this case, I'm going to choose my desktop. So once you've downloaded the ChatGPT installer, you want to go ahead and open it up. And then all we need to do now is to simply drag and drop the ChatGPT icon into our applications folder. And after a few seconds, you will hear the install noise. Once this has been installed, you can exit out of the installer. Then you can go ahead and delete it from your Mac if you wish to do so. So now we've got ChatGPT installed, we can go ahead and open the app just as we normally would. And after a few seconds, it's going to give you this pop up because the app's downloaded from the internet. So you want to click on open and then you'll be prompted to sign into your ChatGPT account. Now, if you don't have one already, you can sign up with email by clicking this button or you can continue with Google. But in this case, I'm going to click on login as I've already got an account. So once you've signed into your account, it's going to prompt you that you can quickly access ChatGPT by clicking on the option button and the space bar at the same time. It's going to open like spotlight search, but it's going to be ChatGPT instead. So we can exit out of this option. So there are a couple of ways of using ChatGPT. The first way is to simply type into the search box here and the ChatGPT will work as you would expect. And you can also attach a file or a screenshot by clicking on this paperclip icon. If you click on this sidebar here, you'll see all of your ChatGPT search histories. Alternatively, you can exit out of ChatGPT and for as long as it's running on your Mac and you will see the ChatGPT logo at the top here, you can press the option and spacebar key at the same time and it will bring up the prompt window where you can go ahead and type in any prompts that you'd like. If you wish to access your ChatGPT settings, all you need to do is to launch the application and then you want to click on ChatGPT in the top left hand corner and then you want to click on settings. From here, you can access various amounts of settings, such as privacy settings. You can also choose to launch it at startup, and you can even choose the ChatGPT voice that it uses. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like, and if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.